Okay, uh, my name is Levi Jones and I did mail-in voting in the 2020 election. Uh, so the topic was should mail-in ballots be allowed? And the signs were growing that the voter turnout in 2020 could reach the highest levels in decades. Uh, it's gonna be one of the tightest elections where every vote will count. Uh, voting is advised everywhere. Like you can turn on your TV and even like in sports events, they'll, sports teams will advise voting. Like some, like it's never really been advertised like it has before. Uh, there will be a ton of mail-in ballots this year due to COVID. So social distancing, they're gonna keep people out of the office and stuff. They don't want people to go in. And when they do, there's big lines because they put social distance in there. So some of the problems with mail-in ballots were uh, Last year's election, there was controversy with voting and what votes actually got counted with mail-ins. So people will always be superstitious about if the, like the post office will get them incorrectly and stuff. Uh, there's no guidelines with the ballots, unlike when you go into a uh, local voting location. So like by that, it means like when you go in and there's like the screens, they like tells you everything to do. And some people on the mail-in ballots, they don't even like, there's like a place you have to sign and some people forget to sign and there's stuff like that that happens and those don't count. Uh, Mail-in voting deadline is too close to election day, so uh, normally it's all up until the very last day. But last election, 2016, uh, uh, like a good percent of the votes that were sent in on the last day didn't get counted because they didn't get to the uh, election place in time. So a lot of them, the post office took too long to take them to uh, I forgot where they're supposed to go, but. They didn't get there in time, and so they didn't get counted. And there was like hundreds of thousands that didn't get counted because of that. Um, some states get their ballots way later. So we got ours pretty early, but some other states, like Texas and stuff, they didn't get theirs till later. And it took that. And so sometimes they don't even have the option to get them in early. So that's another reason. You don't have security when putting in your ballot in your mailbox. There's always people, some years, that will just go through mail and take your stuff. and. If it's for someone they don't like to get rid of your ballot. Um, and they can always lose it at the post office and stuff. Um, as time goes on, you're using mail-in ballots more and more and it's becoming a new regular for ballots. And I feel like that's going the wrong way in the direction. Like we don't want to go, I feel like it's kind of a part of our culture that we can go in and vote and everyone has the freedom to go into a place that's given for you and vote rather than just sign a piece of paper and set it in your mailbox. Um, some benefits with mail-in voting, more votes, more opinions affecting the election. If we took away mail-in voting, you'd get rid of like 25% of voters. The chances of your vote being lost or uh, stolen is very low, and that's from the WBUR, it's a 0.00006% chance of it getting stolen. Uh, many people aren't able to go out and vote, a lot of elderly people or when you're sick, especially during the pandemic right now. And so there should always be, there should always be an option to have mail-in voting. And it helps with social dis distancing for times like now we have a pandemic. A compromise is if you are able to vote in person, you should. So vote mail voting should be allowed, but only it should only be like if you have a genuine reason to do it. Uh, mail voting should always be an option, but it should never be a go-to. Mail voting should be for elderly people or for difficulties leaving their house to vote. And it will always be safer to go cast your ballot in person at location of security and, out, and eyes everywhere rather than the mailbox where everyone could affect what happens to your ballot. So that's another reason why. We need to keep mail-in voting an option and not let it become our number one source for casting our votes. And we need to also set the deadline of mail-in voting earlier so post office has no problems getting their returns in on time. So those are my questions.